Welcome back to Natural Biology. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the biological term adaptation. Have you ever thought about how a cactus plant survives in a desert habitat? How a mountain goat gets itself protected from a predator? Well, the answer is quite simple. All organisms including plants and animals that live in a particular habitat have changed over millions of years to suit the place that they live in. This is called adaptation. We can now define adaptation as the process by which a living thing gradually changes over a long time to suit the changing environment. Now let's check why organisms adapt in their habitats. To find or make food from the available resources, to protect themselves from predators, to protect themselves from the environment, to find favorable conditions for reproduction. Now let's watch some examples for adaptations. Fishes are able to survive in marine as well as freshwater habitats, possessing following features. Fishes breathe through gills. Gills help the fish take the salt oxygen from the water. Fishes move through water using their paired fins on either side of their body. Streamlined body of fishes is another adaptation which helps their movement easily through water. Finally, fishes have scales on their body placed in an overlapping fashion for protecting the soft body of the fish. These features enable them to live in an aquatic habitat. Now let's see some flight adaptation in birds. The bodies of birds are streamlined to help them move through air easily. Their body is covered with feathers which help the birds to fly. Bones of birds are hollow and lightweight to keep the body weight low. We can conclude that organisms that adapt can survive while those that are unable to adapt with the environment dies out and become extinct in that habitat. Did you know, you can't actually smell your own house or perfume because of a survival instinct called olfactory adaptation. Our brain is always looking for a new, unusual or changing smell as a sign of possible danger. At the end of the video, I've got a question for you. Which of the following is a common adaptive feature for both fishes and birds. We have the option, option A gills, option B streamlined body, option C fins, option D feathers. Bust your answer in the comment box. We'll see you with yet another biological term in the next video. If you like this video, please give a feedback, like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.